Well, because now right. there's this whole new thing called passport bros, where it's basically like if you're an American and you can't get a girl in America, you go to Thailand or the Philippines wow, or yeah. whatever, and you basically find a girl. Yeah, the, you're the handsome yeah. boy. Yeah, so even though you're a loser in America, you're a badass <laughs> when you go to Thailand or, or Philippines, and all the girls you know who grew up in extreme poverty are going to just do whatever the f*** you say. And it's just this like crazy new paradigm. I didn't know it was called Passport Bros. I've always thought about Passport those. Bros. Give it a Google. Yeah. There's some f***ing weird guys, I gotta oh. admit. But it also, like, I mean, if you can't get a girl in America, why not? I guess I kind of respect it. Somewhere else, I guess, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But, okay, wow. so how long were you doing that? And, and where did you move and what was your life like after that? So after that, I went to, when I met the photographer, he introduced me to Francine D. Okay. I don't know if you guys know Francine D. She's like a famous import model. Okay. So she works at Experiment Rhino in Vegas. Classic. Love that place. Adam yes. I was going to say Adam Walsh. That's some great <laughs> nights there. <laughs> That's how I met um, Dan Bilzerian and all the people. Oh, really? Yeah. So you were dancing there? Yeah. For 12 years, I danced at the Rhino. Oh, like wow. Nobody knows. Yeah. Every night, I dance at the Rhino. Like, yeah. Well, I finally made everybody. you quit. I got burnt out. Yeah, that's a long run. Long time. In Mr. Club. My experience at the Spearman Rhino in Vegas is, and I've, I think I've only been there two times, it's the most girls I've ever seen in a strip club. Yeah. Like hundreds. It's 24 hours, like 500 girls a night. 500? Think about that. Yeah. That's so many girls i didn't know it was that high but it when you were in there it's just a lot of times in a strip club you you just get used to like oh there's four girls in here i've kind of looked at them all i'm sort of bored now when you're in there it's just non-stop everywhere you look girls yeah Wild. every hour there's girls coming in and coming out right it's 24 and you just hours. dance there every night yes how much does that change your life a lot i yeah. bought three houses in the philippines i support my whole family up to now how much is the house wow. in the philippines not bad like Hundred thousand if you have a good house. Still a lot. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. So you were actually killing it. How much was the most you think you ever made in a year stripping? In one night, I made one hundred eighty thousand. What? One guy. Wait, who I never heard yeah, that. Yeah, I, I put this on my um. On your your thing? I didn't yeah. see it. Wow. Because I I dance for Dana White. I dance for Mayweather. I dance for a lot of people. I met, and the funny thing is, I don't know them. Oh, so you're dancing, you're thinking this is some yeah. random bald guy. That's like when we went to the yeah. club with Pump and all the girls like, who, wait, who's the yeah, guy over yeah. there? I dance for um, Mike Tyson, and I don't even know Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. And all the blackers like, and the, do you know who you're dancing with? No, it's Mike Tyson. Okay. <laughs> you're like, I'm I don't know. I'm, my job. I, I give Mike Tyson my poster. I, I model like, oh, he's like... He goes there every time, like, give me a tip. He's good. So the night you made 180000 was it mostly from one person? One person, he, yeah. Anyone you can tell us who it was? No. <laughs> it's a secret. Huh? It's a secret what happened yeah. that night. He, he comes, like, all the time. But one night, I was like, um, I said I, I wasn't in the club. He's like, where are you? I'm like, I was, I'm sick because I have, like, stomach problem. And... He just wired me money. He just wired you money just because. Yeah. Wow. Some and guys, that's just what they like. It's huh? like, yeah. Like he's How do you to... even leave a club with $180,000? I imagine it's pretty I know. dangerous. I was that's like, I point. told my sister, oh my God, this guy worked. So I bought houses. I bought. But house. like $180,000, even if it's in hundreds, it's got to be like as big as this friggin' thing right here, right? Yeah. How did you go home that night? No, he wired it. Oh, oh, oh well, you're dancing convenient. and they're just fucking Venmoing you money. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I thought the point of the strip club yeah, is to throw it. But yeah. I mean, honestly, we're going to be here all night if I got to throw $180,000. Like, and like, where do you store it for the guy? Right. Yeah, is it just kind of like a suitcase? You get a like... wheelbarrow? Yeah. Wow. So my first night in Vegas is my first night at the strip club. And when the manager saw me, he's like, OK, you can start now. I'm like, start what? <laughs> because I didn't know it was a strip club. Because I went in the back. I auditioned in the back. So what did my, you think you were auditioning for? My friend just told me, like, oh, you, I have a job for you. Okay. So I, I went in the back, and the manager saw me, okay, you can start now. It's 24 <laughs> hours club. So I went inside. I was like, no way. <laughs> I was like, I don't drink. I, did I you have any dancing experience before? I know how to dance hip-hop, but I don't know how to dance, like, 
Did you do all, any of the crazy like pole tricks? No. no. Up to now, like I now I dance feature dancing everywhere now, uh-huh. and I still don't know how to dance on the pole. Wow. I'm just like go on stage and don't know money. I was like, I don't know how to dance, and all the guys, no, you just look like that. Okay. okay. Just be a statue. Everybody's wondering when you're making extreme amounts of money in the strip club, how far do you go with the guys? So that that so okay, my first night in Vegas is I made ten thousand, wow. and I don't know how to dance. It was poker time that 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 time. The uh, like, World Series of Poker yes. or something. Oh wow. So there's so many young guys. And I was like, I don't know how to dance. They're like, no, sit here. I don't know how to dance. Yeah, you, every girl say that. It's their first night. I said, like, no, it's really my first <laughs> night. So I, they just bring me to the VIP. And like, you don't have to go do anything. Just They just give me chips, chips, casino chips. They just want you to sit there and make yeah. them feel good. Yeah. And wow. then, don't go anywhere. Like, Did you ever end up dating any of the guys that yeah. you met at the strip club? Yeah. Yeah, he's a poker player. Well, so after what? The, huh? What's his name? <laughs> we'll bleep it out. I okay. Promise. Okay, I forgot his name. <laughs> Stick on in front. Okay. He, he lives here in Burbank. He plays in commerce. Interesting. I he plays know. poker. That's why he's, ah, he's curious. Yeah. 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 They're, he's twin. You yeah. know Jeff Boski? Yeah, of course. Uh, yes. Yeah. He's in Vegas. No? Ooh, is jo- Jeff Boski's going to like that. He of drove course. me with his car. I know. Yes, yeah. I've seen the video with you in a long time ago. <laughs> is I he know. good? He's a good, yeah, 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 yeah. He's not like a crazy millionaire off poker, but he, he's, he does good, yeah. Yeah, he's nice. Yeah. I don't know, he might be a millionaire. Sorry, Jeff, I don't want to throw that <laughs> on you. But, uh, okay, but people would want to know, like, when you're making this much money stripping or whatever, do you ever end up having sex with the guys or doing anything like that? No, because I, I, I did it so easy, like, guys just giving me money without having sex. Mm. Plus, if I have sex, I'm sure there's a lot of girls there. They just meet guys, and then they go to the hotel and that's that's okay you know but for me i think if you have sex with the guy you're done the next day different girl mm, they're not going to come back and, yeah, and tip you while of, you're dancing yeah. is what you're saying you want to be yeah at this high elevation I, I, I got it easy like they give me ten thousand without having sex so why will i have will, yeah. why will i fuck for a thousand so were That's you having true. boyfriends and stuff throughout this 12 year period or different guys <laughs> just guys you mostly meet in the club yeah or? And are you working on your English the whole time? Because your English is very good. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I have a stripper. Stripper English? Stripper English. <laughs> so you can say all kinds of stuff related to stripping, but anything else yeah. is kind of hard? Yeah. <laughs> like I have a bad English. My, my recollection, okay, so one night I was at the Spearman Rhino, and I knew some guys who worked for Vice, and they were like kind of middle-level employees at Vice, and, and they are calling me, and they're like, yeah, come to this back room. And I go to the back room, and it's some like sex, like real deal, like rich fucking dudes who work for Vice. Wait, at Rhino? At the Smyrna Rhino, yeah. Wow. There's like a private room in the back. We go into it, and I'm seeing some of these executives snorting drugs off of the girls' tits and shit. And I'm just like, whoa, because like I'm a business owner, and you would have to, I, I would never in a million years do that kind of shit around my employees or whatever, but. They were just having a good ass time. So is, is that out of the ordinary? Guys want to do coke in front of you and off your body at the Spearman Rhino? I, I don't recall, but I feel like the whole time I was dancing, I was sober. I mm. never drink and never do drugs. But no one like ever offered it to you or you never saw it around? I see it around, but I, Cause I'm I, not into it yet that mm. time. Because I did, I, I, yeah, I was sober the whole time. I was dancing because mm. I was, I don't know how to go home if I'm yeah. fucked up. What's the craziest thing you saw there in your 12 years? Cause I feel like Vegas has to have the craziest strip clubs. Good question. All the boys are like, Oh, it's bachelor weekend. We're going to go to Vegas. We're going to go to the strip club. And they start acting a fool. Like you must've seen some crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah. I see happen. a lot. Like a lot of girls, like they fuck on the couch and then me, I'm just like watching <laughs> and getting paid every hour. So <laughs> yeah, wow. mostly it's like the girls who just, Went there for fun, like young girls. Yeah. They fuck all the hoses. It must be so weird, though, just going from being in the Philippines, just being homeless and shit, to all of a sudden you're making six figures in a night. Never mind, even 10000 a night. It's a crazy-ass amount of money. Yeah. What was that like, uh, just going from having almost nothing to being rich? Well, sometimes I still don't realize, and then I go back home in the Philippines. Like, wow, like I'm counting, like, the stairs I did it. I made it from dancing, you know. Like it's good that I can support my family. 
Definitely. Up to now, yeah. So you get burnt out after 12 years. And then it was COVID. I moved to Miami oh. and it started OnlyFans and Soup first. Okay, yeah, because I remember seeing her when I got started on private Snapchat. I was telling her I was on this app once. Someone paid me to use this app, probably like pre OnlyFans. There, it was almost like camming. You would post a sexy video, and someone would like tip with a coin to unlock it. And someone was like, "Hey, I'll give you money. Just go on this app." And I remember seeing her on the app, mm. and I remember seeing you on Instagram. This is back in 2016, so it's like we were both on wow. this app. Probably nobody remembers called the Soup app. Yes, soup app. she dated the guy who owned it or something. Yeah, so she was on it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was like a, like a premium Snapchat. Oh um, yeah, it, but they're an app instead of snapchat or whatever okay and so you moved this to... is before OnlyFans. yeah yeah, yeah. 